he is one of the lightest jockeys currently mounting up on thoroughbreds at Caymanas Park. Ramon Nepere made a rough start to his career as a reinsman. Yet, he has fought through the bad times by dint of hard work, determination, and his natural ability, to progress steadily in his chosen profession. Nepere has made an encouraging start in 2023, entering the winner's enclosure on six occasions from his 48 rides, as at Tuesday, February 28, 2023. The young man is steeled with a strong resolve to succeed in his chosen field. Naper shares his formative years in the saddle, and his hope for the future. Listen and watch the interview by Apprentice Ramon Naper on quickgallop.com and its YouTube channel, The Quick Galloper. How did it all start for Ramon Naper? Well, it all started by um, Scorcher, Scorcher, you know. That's David McKenzie. That David McKenzie, yeah. He he have a he have a little friend that 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 love racing. He he come to the track every Sunday, Saturday. He he saw me at um at Dwayne Park, and liked me and said, "Come here." You know, say he's a little jockey, and start start me and him start talk and talk until he start getting at the game and he bring me come a scotch and you know and and. So on, it, it, it start build up, build up, build up by scratch and all start teach me how to ride and you know me, me, me meet his mother and his mother start tell me some little things we to do and you know yeah. How long ago was that? Well, that that is from about um 2012. 2012. Yeah, 2012. That is Miss and, yeah. and which stable did you first get? Associated with P. Lynch, yeah. Um, Patrick Lynch, yeah. I go, I go on to him. I, 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 I gravitate to um, P. Lynch, you know. Him start to him have more horses, no. I, 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 I go into him and, and ask him, ask him if I can get some, get one, get on few hours for him and and that's why I get get to 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 start coming on little by little. Mm -hmm. yeah. Who was your apprentice myself? Michael Marlow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. How long did it take you from when you came down here to getting your jockey's license? It take um, about six months. For that how long it was before you went into the jockey school? Well it never took it never take long. It will take about um, two year, two and a half years okay. yeah, before I even start in Jackie School. So you graduated which year? 2019. No, 18, sorry. 2000. And, and that batch included who? Pinock and, Pinock and, and, and Nugent and other ones, yeah. Okay. Two. And you are currently sleeping? Three. Three. Yeah. It would have taken you some time to get going. Yeah, that takes uh, slow but sure, you know. Mm -hmm. you know? Uh, right. Not a fast learning, not a fast learning jockey, but you know, mm -hmm. I see certain things on, on the track, how the jockey them ride are foreign and, and gravitate to, to how them ride and thing, you know. Yeah. During that period, were there any jockeys here, senior riders, who you would have gone to, to seek advice and, and, and help? Um, Winston Griffiths. Mm -hmm. with a, yeah. So I see my man in time, I pass him my man in time and him, you know, my jack pass him sometime and he say, come here. You know? And give me some little advice what you do and right. you know. Right. And uh, within the last year or so, in terms of you rating yourself, how you see yourself coming on, improving? Well, improving fast, you know. Yeah, it, it isn't it, it I would like when I say fast but not, not, not so fast, but you know, I take time to uh, build and uh, build. See me and I still uh, watch, watch Jackie them, all them ride and you know, watch fire and race and. Of the game, still yeah, learning. see, still learning, see me. I'll, I'll, I'll do so much. I, I, I surprise how I gone so much. Mm -hmm. So much win, win, you know. And what is the, the, the aim? We have now just turned into 2023. What is the aim? Well, Have you set any goals that you would like to yeah, accomplish this year? Yeah, to win more races. Just like, I just like, love winning races, you know? 
and you're sure you're putting in the work though. Yeah, yeah I'm putting out yeah. track and physically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Tracking and doing my little exercising, you know. So how oh, oh, satisfied are you now and comfortable in your skin to know that yeah, I'm on the improve, I'm doing the work and I'm getting some live mounts. I'm I'm happy. But I, I, I still feel like I need to go more and you push, push more, more from yeah, push more mm-hmm. and push harder like um, AT and Dean Dawkins. I watch all them ride enough time and try to, try to gravitate to all them ride, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are there any trainers that you would like to give a shout out to? For well, first, um, <laughs> first Michael Marlow, you know, Patrick Lynch. Um, DC is my, my, little, my little trainer where, where in the school I come on and him have a couple of well and you know. Yeah, a couple of trainers. Donovan Clark, yeah, right? Donovan Clark, yeah. yeah. You know? And a couple of other trainers there, you know. Newness and, and Azan, the whole of them, you know. And you are hoping that all these trainers and more will come forward and give you some rights yeah. so that you can get to express yourself and yeah, show the and real sure, ability. Yeah, and show the real ability. Does it give you confidence, added confidence, that you are a lightweight rider so that is not one of the no, problems that, that you have No, that is not a problem because, you know, the weight, the weight is right, but sometimes it go up and down it, like it. I can ride at 46, 47, 49 and then wait them ride at a race day time and I feel comfortable in my body, so enough, my body not stress or nothing, you understand? Yeah. On January 21, 2023, Nepair produced one of his best rides on ride and flight for his apprentice master Michael Marlowe. They're off. Pass the bulls whips around at the start and will take no part. Timber the Lion staggered out and is a long way in behind JJ Warrior who leads the field as they flash past the seven. Little groby thing, some three lengths back and racing in second, rated by the rider. Letters in gold is close enough at this stage and running in third. There goes right in flight to join him. Just toward the outside to cat with the glory and a Simba the lion brings up the rear as they lead the six. The grey JJ warrior attempts to steal the show, attempting to go gate to wire, leading up by some six lengths over little groby thing. Letters in gold continues to wait on the rail, they leave the five. Toward the outside, right in flight, joined by Simba the Lion now recovering and to cat be the glory at the back of the field. They're arriving at the half mile. They go into that turn and JJ Warrior out in front but not so far. The lead now three lengths. Little groby thing has sliced into it. Here is right in flight now asked to run on. Simba the Lion making progress. Letters in gold fading back a bit second to last and to cat be the glory at the back. They leave the three. They're on the way to the 5.16th. JJ Warrior has taken a breather but leads up still by three lengths. Simba the Lion cutting into it. Little groby thing in between horses and right in flight out wide but they're into the lane. Can and they catch a JJ Warrior. The rider now gets busy as they run toward the 316th, and now he changes his hold, and the stick should come out in the left hand. It does. Right in flight, pulling alongside on the outside, on his inside, little groovy thing, and on the rail it is Simba the Lion. But they're inside the final furlong, four horses across the track. The JJ Warrior now begins to fade. Right in flight, and Simba the Lion now going at it. Little groovy thing in behind them. It's right in flight, and Simba the Lion in our head, Bob, right in flight, just over Simba the Lion, then little groovy thing JJ Warrior to cat me the glory. Thank you for watching another video produced by the team from quickgallop.com, YouTube channel, The Quick Galloper. Please stay on the channel for more enlightening videos on those involved in local horse racing. Please like, subscribe, and press the notification bell.